Welcome to Engineers Academy. Subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon to receive the notification for the upcoming videos. Now we are going to solve this problem in 99, so it is from 6th edition. So in this problem it is said that express force F as a vector in terms of the unit vectors i, j and k. And also it is asked that determine the angle between F and the y axis. So this is the force which is equal to 60 Newton and this uh, dimensions are given along x, y and z axis, right? So these are the coordinates of this point. Let's suppose if this is some point. Let's suppose if this is point B, right? So what are the coordinates of this point to reach this point B? So what will be the coordinates? So the coordinates are that in the x direction, this is the positive x direction. So in the x direction, we will travel 40, right? And in the y direction, we will travel minus 50. Right, so the along the x we will travel 40 plus 40, along the y we will travel minus 50, and in the z direction we will travel 110 to reach this b. Right, or in other words, we can say that to reach this point b, we will travel 50 units along y, 40 units along x, and 110 units along z. So we will reach this point b. Right, so we need to find the force vector. So force vector will be equal to the magnitude of force into the unit vector or the direction vector from OB. Sorry, this is OB, right? So I will write NOB. So we need to find this NOB. So NOB will be equal to OB vector divided by OB magnitude. So now we need to find this OB vector. So how to find OB vector? So it will be equal to the coordinates of B and the coordinates. So we will subtract the coordinates of origin, right? So we will write, let's suppose that these are the coordinates. Let's suppose this is X, Y and Z, right? So X, Y and Z are the coordinates at point B and the coordinates at O are 0, 0 and 0, right? So we will write x minus 0 i plus y minus 0 j plus z minus 0 k right and the magnitude will be equal to x minus 0 whole square plus y minus 0 whole square plus z minus 0 whole square so this will give us the magnitude right so the direction vector n o b is equal to so now the x coordinate is 40 so i will write 40 minus 0 so 40 minus 0 is i plus y minus 0 so it is minus minus 50 so minus 50 minus 0 so it will be minus 50 minus 50 j plus 110 minus 0 so it will be 110 k right and similarly to find the magnitude we will write this again x minus 0 is 40 square plus minus 50 square plus z minus 0 so 110 minus 0 so it is 110 square so it is the square root of this right so we will get this direction vector so if i solve this so the magnitude comes out to be 127.28 so i will write 127.28 and 40i minus 50j plus 110k right so if we divide 40 minus 50 and 110 by the magnitude so we will get the unit vector the direction vector of force right so it will be equal to so when we divide these uh, 40 divided by this minus 50 divided by this so we get this uh, direction vector of force so now if this is equation 1 right so if we put this in equation 1 and the magnitude of force in equation 1 so we will get that force so force vector will be equal to the force magnitude so it is 60 into 0 0.314 i minus 0 0.393 j plus 0 0.864 k right so we will get that force so we get this force vector now in this problem it is also said they determine the angle between f and the y axis. 
right so as we know that f of y is equal to f cos of theta y is equal to minus 23.58 right so this is the f of x this is f of y right so f of y is minus 23.58 so now if you want to find this theta y theta y is the angle of force with the y axis so theta y will be equal to cos inverse minus 23.58 divided by the magnitude the magnitude is 60 right so we will get that theta so the angles comes out to be 113.1 degrees right so this is the force vector and this is the angle of force with the y axis right so this is the solution of this problem